Canada's largest Catholic archdiocese is in Toronto. The archbishop there is His Eminence, Cardinal Thomas Collins, and he is with us this morning. Uh, nice to see you, Cardinal. Oh, good morning. I, I want to start with the Pope's comments today. He he called for reconciliation. He called yes. for healing, but there was yes. no formal apology. Um, how do you interpret those words this morning? How should we interpret them? Well, I think the Holy Father is uh, you know seeking reconciliation, healing, as are we all. And in this, he's following up on his predecessor, Pope Benedict, who in 2009 uh, met with uh, leaders of the indigenous community in Canada. This is a long process where we're journeying together uh, with our indigenous brothers and sisters. And uh, so it's, it's, I think it's an important step forward. But I think that uh, we need to continue the journey. W do you see it as a step towards an official apology that perhaps the Pope would even make on Canadian soil? Well, I think it's very, uh, I don't know about on Canadian soil, it's, it's difficult because, uh, for one thing, his age, but also uh, these uh, great, uh, you know, big journeys of the Pope, these big visitations and things, they're, they are very uh, complex, they're very um, high profile. Sure. But I think that the much more important thing is the day-to-day -day work, quietly, gently, and that's happening ever since the a very clear apology to those who ran the schools in 1991, and I quoted from one of them at Mass this morning at my, at my cathedral. Uh -huh. uh, and then the, the, the work, uh, specifically what uh, Pope Benedict XVI said, and now this is a step by uh, Pope Francis advances us further. I could see uh, maybe, there, I'm sure there'll be further contact with the Holy Father, but uh, I don't know whether the seeking always some big and uh, dramatic thing is really the way forward. I think step by step is better and working with other people. Right, but I, I'm sure you know that the other uh, religious uh, entities that, that brand some of these schools have made these kinds of apologies. And so this is important to those who went to Catholic yes. residential schools. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel, yes, that's uh, why. yeah, do you feel mm -hmm. it is a necessary, this kind of apology? I think it's very, very important. Uh, and uh, we, the Catholic Church, those who ran the schools, those who did the oblates, I quoted from that this morning, and yeah. uh, others, and have expressed their apology direct and absolute. Uh, the bishops of Canada have uh, done so in different ways. The, the, the uh, head of our conference did so, uh, expressed that sorrow for the, the uh, suffering of the people. This has been happening for over 30 years, and it's also what Pope Benedict did. Now, uh, th what wording is there? The Catholic Church is made up of in Canada, it's made of regions called dioceses and yes. organizations called orders. And there are 70 regions and about a hundred, couple hundred orders. Some of them were involved in running the residential schools. I think all of them have quite explicitly directly apologized. Right, and, and not to belabor this, Cardinal, but, but there is a difference between a local uh, diocese making an apology, which would be important, and the head of the Catholic Church, the Pope, making the apology on behalf of the head of the Catholic Church, no? Well, I, <laughs> the Catholic Church is is made up of all these different communities. I think it's something we need to work forward towards, and I'm sure that it would be very good to uh, to get together with Pope Francis. Although we're kind of held back yeah. by uh, COVID right now, um, people wishing uh, you know this sort of a dramatic and simple thing. I, I think that the key thing we're trying to work on, and where we're working with so much in the last while, is to work together with uh, all our Indigenous brothers and sisters and. I must say that has been a very fruitful and good thing. Uh, so uh, on the other point, of course, that, that the Prime Minister spoke about on Friday is access to records, um, which continues mm -hmm. to be a problem for, for many residential school survivors and for the people trying to sort of recreate what happened or better understand what happened. Mm -hmm. The Prime Minister even suggested that the Canadian government would be prepared to take the Catholic Church to court, although he hoped that wouldn't be necessary. What is your understanding of whether whether other dioceses, whether the the Vatican itself has other documents and is willing to provide those documents to, to people? I think those are extremely unhelpful remarks by Mr. Trudeau and uh, uninformed. Uh, as we can see, for example, in the, the sad situation we're dealing with in Kamloops, all of the records are available at the Museum of British Columbia. I think that as far as I know, uh, there may be some exceptions that the records of the Catholic Church have been made available. He may be misinformed. If there's any Catholic group that has not made the records available, uh, they should, obviously, they should do so. And the idea that there are some secret records hidden in the Vatican, I mean, if he has some indication there are, well, 
I'd yeah. like to hear it. Well, but I, I think I, I, this yeah. is not a very. Uh, I think those are most unhelpful comments, and they're based upon misunderstanding. I presume it's misunderstanding, and I, I think it's uh, we we need to be fair and clear about that. No one that I know of is trying to hide records. If anyone is, they shouldn't. Uh, okay, but but that, that's what you know, and I, I would imagine the Prime Minister knows a few things, too, about the documents. Are you, so uh, you're saying that there are no further documents the Catholic Church needs to release in this country that would be important to understanding the history of residential schools? Because it's my understanding well, that it's been very difficult to obtain uh, documents I, and that all of them are not uh, available. Maybe it's because they've been destroyed? I'm not sure. Well, I think the government destroyed quite a few documents they some did. time ago. Yes. So I think perhaps Mr. Trudeau might perhaps meditate you know, and reflect upon that. As far as I know, I mean, I don't know all the different dioceses of Canada. And there were about 16 of the 70 dioceses and about 35 or six or so of the many religious orders that were involved in the residential schools. I know that many have provided all the documents. If they haven't, they should. It's right. as simple as that. Yes. They should. I, I, uh, yeah, I guess but I'm, I don't I, know of any that haven't. I guess I'm. I guess I'm, uh, Cardinal, respectfully asking whether it's helpful for you to say that the Prime Minister's comments are unhelpful, given that it is the Catholic Church that has not been uh, overly cooperative in, in on the path to reconciliation, whether it whether it be an official apology, whether it be uh, the the money that was asked for in terms of reconciliation, or whether it be the documents that many people believe are still missing. Well, that is the uh, interpretation of the Prime Minister. He certainly has a right to that. Uh, the Catholic Church has been trying in different ways. It's a, you know, it's a slow process, but we're trying to do that through apologies. Those groups who ran the schools, and all of us, my, me, myself, this morning from Toronto, which did not run mm -hmm. a residential school, yes. uh, in terms, uh, and, and the Holy Father, Pope, Pi, uh, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, and now this morning, uh, Pope Francis. Uh, we're doing that. We are a, a church of many dioceses and groups. We have the Pope, and both Pope Benedict and Pope Francis have been involved. In terms of documents, I've, I think Father Thorson of the Noblates has said that they are all available. And and I think the Vancouver, they, many of these have been turned over to the government. If someone has not, they should. Uh, and I think that is as simple as that. Um, are, are, are you uh, planning to, willing to, uh, Cardinal, meet with the Prime Minister or his Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations, Carolyn Bennett, to discuss these issues further? Well, I'm always willing to meet with uh, with the Prime Minister. I've done that many years ago before he was the Prime Minister. But uh, I, uh, I just, my, I think that we should be, this has been a terrible thing that the uh, creation of the residential schools was a misguided and most disastrous policy. Uh, and the government, and I think the the churches should not have become involved in it, because among other things, it took kids away from their families. So there's one thing that's important for us, it is the importance of a family, and that was just forgotten. And I think that's at the heart of a lot of the tragedy that is here. Okay, Cardinal Collins, we will leave it there this morning. Thank you for your time, sir, I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much.